Oh, okay, well, here, don't mind that background noise. But let's just have a look at all the top rated comments on this one thread I've been following in an investigation. No. And let's go, let's go see all these people that are fucking fantastic fucking commenters. Sock puppets. Okay, let, let's go invest. I've, I've pre-clicked on all their, all their names, right, to go have a look. For a while there, I used to be able to just thumb over and it would give you their, you know, their a uh, little brief summary about, as in, oh, okay, they've got zero subs, they've got zero videos, they just signed up ten minutes ago. Gee, do you think they might be in a, a spam bot? <laughs> We're just going to make a real brief, uh, Discussion here. Well, okay, there's one. Oh, hang on. How many did that have? That was, uh, 14 likes. Let's have a look at our profile. Zero subscribers. All the standard run ups of computer generated likes that uh, YouTube is fraudulently promoting above our product. Well, let's have the discussions. This person must be a top-notch fucking commenter to get 14 comments. No, no fucking comments either. Oh, wait a minute. Did they even put when they opened their account? No, they, they, they never do. Okay, well, I'm sure they've got thousands of original fucking content. What? None? Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, shall we bother clicking on all these to see any regularities in, um, as in... Same Autobot sock puppet. Okay, here let's let's go to another one. I won't keep clicking back here. You can do this on your own. Where, where was the next one? Ah, yes, Patrick. Wow, fucking eight comments. Wow, for such a fucking mindless fucking filter generator comment. Okay, well let's just go back. Let's let's go have a look at you. Oh, well you got four subscribers, so we can assume you've had. Things going for a little while here? Well, I don't know. The account's been going for a year. This might actually be somebody that only has four comments and they're not actually a, uh, a auto spam bot. Uh, they just, you know, have a lot of accounts that they got for, I don't know what to, well, not to post videos, uh, not to give award winning comments. Speculating here, well, no, nope. okay, so they're not actually a big commenter, but, but when they do, man, they get, they get liked by every fucking account they own. Okay, let's just carry on here. Okay, uh, ooh, how about, oh, fuck, well, zero subscribers. Oh, well, no wonder you're spending all your time making original uploads and um, comments. I'll bet you if I clicked on every one of these, they would all be fucking monetized. Whether they actually were pirated or belonged to the actual owner or whatever, they would be mirrored, monetized. Perhaps not on this one, but on some of these, right? We're just being general. I'm not, I'm not fingering out. I'm at the most asking a question. Are you a spam bot? Are you a fraudulent monetization scam? See, and they'll all have the same likes, right? Because this is a business. Uh, usually you can tell the ones that are run out of Israel by the stupid, uh, useful idiots university kids. You know, BB's uh, discreet and discreet us! You will do what I say, and the most sociopathic of you will go into the sun! Okay, let's just carry on. 24 subscribers. Well, this is possibly a real person. Are there any actual indications of real? No? Okay, well, they're all they're all they're all mirrored. Should, let's, let's just click on one. We know that Bender is is uh, copyright. You know, you, you can parry him and get around copyright as long as you, you know do it 
legitimately and you put your disclaimer uh, you know on screen and, and, and in the about so this might actually just be a young up and coming youtuber but I don't see how this in any way earns a copyright Wipe my disclaimer. Shiny metal ass. There's no, you know, maybe this tunes are at least real, an original creation, and it fortunately wasn't monetized, so I'm not gonna fret over it. We got bigger fish to fry to uh, undo the. Uh, mechanism behind this uh, criminal cabala the Hollywoodsters this one's actually got 59 so uh, I don't think I'm gonna bother going through all this you guys if you're actually interested in doing something to earn your keep on YouTube the ones that aren't too busy trying to you know produce a free product for you to enjoy and you know Hopefully one day it'll amount to something like a data archive or, you know, maybe one day when they've got a zillion views they'll decide to monetize it to buy their cat food or whatever in their old age. I don't know. So. These are all, keep in mind, these all had like a dozen comments or a dozen likes on their comments. So they're obviously, you know, sock puppets. Or quite likely sock puckets. No, okay, another one. Well, I don't really comment, but fuck man, when I do, I get a zillion, I get a zillion likes. Yeah, okay. And if they weren't, if they actually at one point, you know, they had uh, passed through the uh, Masonic gauntlet of, yeah, okay, you're a sleazy fucking weasel, and they actually had some days started to put up a little content, well, you know, the crime syndicate would approach them and, hey, uh, want a cut of the action? Well, here, buy a bunch of likes for your video. We'll, we'll jack her up. What, what was the going rate that they were offering me? A hundred bucks per hundred thousand? Supposedly out of the Philippines. Of which you all know about because I posted it out and put a comment and, you know, warned y'all to quit wasting your fucking money because you're not supporting some poor prostitute with AIDS and half a dozen little bastards. You're, you're supporting some piece of crap that's actually the absolute enemy of YouTube and data archives and anything good and sustainable. <coughs> you're paying his electric bill for his auto spam bot that... <coughs> You know, perhaps he was the original purchaser, but probably got sucked into buying it from the syndicate uh, <clears throat> after getting groomed into the racket. And, you know, it was not sufficient to serve uh, um, cyber dating sex spam. <clears throat> you know, like, you pay for sex and you think you're getting a live person, you know, the old primitive ones when, well, this is all pre-recorded bullshit. But, but, but I just asked her to, to stick that dildo up her bum and she did. Well, no, it's a, it's a large database. The filter stick dildo up bum and it quickly went to a scene and put it up there and you gave them your credit card. They didn't really care, you know, the, the actual money they were taking off your credit card, the, the couple of bucks to watch a computer generated images that everyone else gets for free. Well, that was, that was... You know, the, the few bucks that was reasonable for you to have a wank off after you were electromagnetically induced and, 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 and optically induced into an amorous state and, you know, needed a little help jacking off. So, you know, what, what's a couple of bucks? I mean, people like you would probably spend 20 bucks on some poor little street corner prostitute. They were after your credit card information, you fucking idiot. The bag man may get 10% of that 2 bucks or 20 bucks or whatever you paid in in your your online sex scam per view and uh, you know 10% and then the boss takes 90% and then they take your credit card which you know the bank likes because 
under Hegelian dialectic, how in the hell else were you ever going to get people to take credit cards and then bank cards and then RFID chips in their bank cards if you uh, if you don't make the old thing obsolete and offer them the new Oh, fuck it, man. All that stuff, the, the crooks are just, uh, I don't know how they're figuring out how to do it. I don't know how they're getting into our super secure computers that actually do a good job of protecting our billions, but not your, you know, hundreds or thousands or whatever. Um, zero. Which isn't a conviction in itself. I mean, you have to look through it. You know, there could be somebody that just made their first comment and got really lucky and, you know, picked up a dozen. Uh comments. They're not necessarily spam bots and <clears throat> primitive hate, artificial intelligence controlled scams, right? I mean, that could actually be a real person and not a stolen image! I don't know because I haven't bothered to run it through the uh, global facial recognition scan yet, which is all it takes to track down the victim. Hey, is this your... Are you actually Kara B? Is this actually your channel? Well, do you know that you owe uh, Revenue Canada or uh, the Royal Revenue Service or the IRA or whatever? You you uh, you owe twenty fucking grand in back taxes, buddy. Well, we don't care that this wasn't your fucking image. You monetized for fucking two years. You fucking owe. We're taking everything. Get it? So why aren't you using your facial tracking software to confirm if this is actually this person and if this is actually their account? I mean, you use all kinds of security measures to confound the real investors. Well, I think I've shown you all enough tutorial on how to um, march on the Googleplex for this particular campaign and there will be many until they get it right and start honoring their contract and uh, you know quit fucking us over and let us get on with the fucking job that we uh, that we uh, had our original agreement with YouTube to do to beta test the data archive So this is how it works. Don't blame Emma because typically what they do is they'll harass the piss out of somebody uh, once they've got enough good videos. They'll steal it. They'll they'll if they can't entrap them into uh, fuck it, you're kicked off of uh, YouTube out of the Googleplex. Well, then they'll just dress the piss out of them and. Um, Make them cancel their account, and then who owns rights? Well, under YouTube, nobody did, but under Googleplex, okay. Well, Googleplex now owns all the images, all the comments, at least partial rights, everything you've ever done uh, through their server. So you know, they can do what they want with you, with your likeness. So I'm in no way convicting Emma Blackery of being known about this or even receiving all the communications I've been doing to her uh, because this could very well be a clone channel and what's on my screen could be completely different and customized than what's on your screen just like I was giving you a little ramble about the uh, fake cyber porn credit card snatching scam that's you know was fucking rampant for years, raking in billions. Uh, as far as I know, I'm the first one that began to bring it up a couple years ago, and I see a few people have, you know, started up scam busting sites, and absolutely, that's the way to do it. I mean, you're bored, you're sexually frustrated, you've been fucked over uh, by scamsters. You gotta work through it somehow, right? You gotta work them frustrations out. So why not do, you know, why just treat the problem when you can cure it? And 
if there's one thing we know about virality on our internet that we have made and breathed life into, shit goes viral. But, yeah, I know, I know, I know. They've got massive banks of fucking AI computers that we fucking paid for under the pretext of serving public, a perception of public peace and safety. Uh, and that's what we're against, but trust me, I've got prototype examples of these were that I started to uh, just typing questions, put them into a, a filter loop, and they're fucking stuck there six months, a year later, trying to interpret the fucking data that I, uh, that I replied to them. So, you know, it's that easy. I'm not going to teach you guys how to do that. If you're, if you're of a mind to uh, figure it out on your own, you know, you better be fucking using it lawfully because everything ever done on the net stays on the net to compromise you and control you. But also, once we straighten things out to convict the fucking brown-shirted fools that have all been fucking warned about this business. Oh, well, hell, while we're here. Should we, should we just do a check back? If you remember from my expose on Be Naughty, how all the locals in, in, in the BC, southern BC region, had all of a sudden moved to Quebec in Ontario. And they were all stolen images pretty well. And, um, I gotta be careful because they keep put a booby drop in the email they're sending, right? Because I'm quite open about what I'm doing. I'll tell them what I'll do, what I'm doing, what, what is going to happen to them. And I expect them to make fully informed choices. And if they want to continue on and think that they can, uh, spring their protection racket on me, well, great fucking, you just, you just made the fucking haul worth forcing the government to act. Because we're not talking screwing over some little credit card holder. We're talking billion dollar scams. You know, the ones that are leading everyone down the toilet with anger, confusion, mistrust, and uh, terrible, terrible, unsustainable leading examples in cheat and gain scams. I'm not even going to go into these because this is too boring. Finally had it with the... Uh, one of the Craigslist. Like, talk about sloppy fucking scamming. Okay, within 24 hours you had... You sold... You sold my reply to a Craigslist dating to three different fucking scamsters. And none of them knew what the other was doing. And they all descended on me with totally different particulars. Pretending to be the same fucking person. In reply to my replying to their ad. Their dating ad, right? So. Uh, closed down a lot of the. Uh, these clowns. Um, Mossad funded out of uh, Logos, Nigeria. If you remember from the last dating scam, uh, so finally just, I mean, well, fuck, I warned them. Hey, fuck, you keep busting into my fucking computer, uh, you're gonna get stuck netted from the shit that the other assholes just like you fucking plant in there after they've done their rampage, and um, you know, so basically they're. They let the smoke out of their own equipment knowingly and willingly and fucking not my strict liability. I fucking warned you. I warned you all three fucking times about breaking into my fucking computer. And what you would find that I didn't put there maliciously. I didn't set a trap. But I don't always have time to keep up, especially when I have to share my fucking uh, computers with everyone else that's criminally breaking in. Stealing, vandalizing, tampering. Alrighty. Hey. You all have a wonderful data archive building experience, won't you? Because it's 
gonna take 10 billion if you want to survive. Fully enabled and acting intelligently. Not fucking scamming and cheating in the most unsustainable ways. Okay. You already lost sustainability. You blew the fucking Earth's core with 